clean, freshen it up, right? You come in, you know, probably like five-ish, right, is what you're spending on this thing. We got it priced at only $46.9, and you're able to bring in ten seventy-five a month. And, dude, it's Akron, Ohio, y'all. They got lines and lines and lines of people with Section 8 vouchers in Akron, right? If you're going to buy low-cost real estate, I think Section 8's the way to go, too. I mean, you could, if you wanted to, rent this out to cash bank tenants, but in my opinion, I think Section 8 is the cheat code uh, in these little low-cost, uh, low-income neighborhoods. Oh my, I'm here to film. Maybe not. Maybe I'm crazy. Am I just losing my mind? Yourself, about death. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show. Folks, thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch to you giving it to you straight. We got that easy one floor living for your Section 8 tenants, y'all. Check this one out. Uh, 610 Elbon Ave, Akron, right? Little ranch, little one floor joint, right? You don't got to worry about going up into the basement uh, to check on the mechanicals. All those are on the first floor. You don't got to worry about dealing with attics or going upstairs and dealing with all that stuff. Tenants just shoving crap upon crap upon crap up in there, right? You got a nice little small space here, okay? And these are great for Section 8 investors, great for Section 8 uh, rentals, man. Just little compact little guys. Uh, it's a 2-1, still going to get a pretty solid amount of rent, right? You're going to probably be able to get 1075 out of this thing. Uh, it's a long-term rental property. The current owner, they just removed their tenants. As you can see, this is how the tenants left it. It's not like in move-in, broom, clean condition, obviously, but it's really not too bad. Uh, you go in there, fix it up, fresh coat of paint, patch a little bit of holes. You don't really got to do too much to that kitchen. It's already looking pretty legit, right? Just clean, freshen it up, right? You come in, you know, probably like five-ish, right, is what you're spending on this thing. We got it priced at only $46.9, and you're able to bring in ten seventy-five a month. And, dude... It's Akron, Ohio, y'all. They got lines and lines and lines of people with Section 8 vouchers in Akron, right? If you're going to buy low-cost real estate, I think Section 8's the way to go, too. I mean, you could, if you wanted to, rent this out to cash bank tenants, but in my opinion, I think Section 8 is the cheat code uh, in these little low-cost, uh, low-income neighborhoods, right? Because when you're in these low-income neighborhoods, y'all, and, and you buy properties and, and you put tenants in there and then your tenants don't pay rent, then you got to evict your tenants or they got to, you know, get booted, they move out on their own, whatever, and then you get a property that looks like this, right? You got to spend at least $5,000 fixing it up, and this is, like, in fairly decent condition, right? If you guys watch my Tenants from Hell show, sometimes it gets even worse, right? Sometimes it gets totally jacked up, right? So in my opinion, I think you guys do the best if you go with the Section 8 program, right? That way, you get the rent guaranteed, and you have fewer and further uh, turnovers, whether that be tenants just moving in and out or being evicted, and then you don't have to do unit turns like this one, and you kind of can just set it and forget it, except for your you know yearly Section 8 inspections, where you'll probably have to do a little bit of repairs, but the cost and the benefit, right, the benefit... Uh, far outweighs uh, having to pay that cost of uh, little ticky-tack repairs every year that Section 8 makes you do, right? So that's how I would operate this. But, of course, uh, however you guys wish to operate, it's totally up to you. If you'd like to submit a cash offer or a financed offer, that is great. Send those to my team, sales at holdenwise.com. Cash offers include your proof of funds. Finance offers include a pre-approval letter from your lender. If you don't have a lender, let me know. I'll get you some lenders. We have lenders that work with investors all over over the world. Get you 30 year fixed interest, low interest loans in all 50 states. And we even have foreign national loans. We could hook you guys up with that. And if you guys need rental property insurance on this property after you buy it, I'll hook you up with that as well because I am a insurance broker throughout the entire state of Ohio, y'all. We're taking care of investors who come to Ohio. All the major Ohio markets Akron, Cleveland, Toledo, Columbus, Cincinnati, Youngstown, Dayton. We got you guys covered. Let's go. We won't. <laughs> I just don't got nothing to like scoop them up and throw. Give me that sign. Yeah, like I want to put them that way. So, you know, put them like behind the house. Oh, damn it.
He's okay? dead. No, nah, he's okay. No, no he's, he's not dead. Okay. You think he's dead? He's dead. He's not gonna make it. I just snapped his little back. What? He fell? Yeah. Nah, dude, they're really. When no. Creatures are that no, small, dude, he's survive. not. He's not gonna make it. He's dead, dude. It doesn't look good. He's dead. Fuck. <laughs> now I'm an asshole. I just fucking. Well, at least he can die peacefully over here. All right. I didn't mean to drop him. You guys. Remember that time Matt tried doing a good deed, but then he ended up just murdering it? Yeah, it happens a lot. You know, maybe that's what that guy was doing in Montana or Maine or wherever. Oh, yeah, we'll talk about that. No, he was not doing a good deed. He was not being nice and putting those people out of their misery. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. Oh my, eyes, we're here to film. Maybe not. Maybe I'm crazy. Am I just losing my mind? You scared yourself talking about death. You know, if you let him go, he's probably gonna hurt somebody. Why is the floor so slippery? I don't know, you can't go in the bathroom though. No, they let him go, and later that night, the daughter of the guy and lady who owned the apartment complex was woken up to screaming. And when she went to go check on it, and unfortunately he didn't succeed, so he ended up dying. The daughter, the guy was taken away by the cops. This happened in 2021, but just recently he was found, I believe it's criminally insane in Maine. And there's something similar to that where he's basically not guilty of the murder because he's insane. Place where I'm posting the three day, even if I know the person, mm -hmm. like what's stopping them from just coming out and uh, shooting me a bunch of coming times? Coming out in a rage. It could, right. It could just be one bad thing after another for him in that day, and then just that notice getting stuck on the door. Yeah. Make him snap. Yeah, have people come up. We've had people come up and like screaming at our office, banging yeah. on the door, hitting the windows and stuff. But, but yeah, I thought about it for a while and was like, you know, I can't believe that the justice system there is so bad that this guy was just allowed to basically be free. And super liberal state. That's usually what happens. And in time, he will be moved to an actual halfway house. Where he just needs to check in and out. If you have a property manager, maybe they'll get stabbed to death if you <laughs> <own>. <laughs> Well, I guess I'll stay with Holton Lines then. I'll use them as my yeah, property leave manager. Them to the professionals. Let me go see if Derek cares about this. He probably doesn't. He, I think he's about to put the drone away. So he's probably ready to chit chat about it. He doesn't give a fuck. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.